Hi, it's Vicky here. This video is a part of a video hop showcasing the new card kit by Create a Smile. So first let's take a quick look on what's inside the kit. You get tons of enamel stickers that coordinate with the colors of the kit. You get those pretty pink pose uh, sequence also in uh, coordinating colors. This adorable clear stamp set. And uh, the theme is uh, all, it's all about the beach and uh, the summer. You also get this adorable tie that I really loved. It's uh, a palm tree, but you can use the top of it as a flower. There is also uh, two different alphabet stickers, a stencil that is great for creating your background uh, scenes. And you get all those uh, shiny and very heavy, uh, very thick uh, 6x6 uh, papers. For a chance to win this uh, Create a Smile uh, Summer Card Kit, you can uh, visit their blog and you will find a link down below the video as well as on your screen right now. This is a company from Germany, but you need to check out their shipping rates. They are way low. For example, they ship to the US for less than $5. So let's get started and make a card. I have chosen two of uh, the pattern papers and I am going to cut out the palm tree. The main part of the palm tree, the leaves, I am going to cut it out from this uh, beautiful pattern paper. And uh, I am going to cut it out twice since I want to layer things one on top of the other to create some dimension. The kit is going to be available for ordering online on uh, Saturday the 14th of May. So you need to be quick because they, those kits uh, get sold out uh, really quickly. So I am cutting out all uh, the pieces and just because I don't, I want to make sure that I don't lose, lose anything, I am using uh, this uh, little bowl to keep everything inside. And I am also going to cut out the trunk of my tree. Again, I'm going to cut it out twice. The great thing about this die is that it actually does two cuts. So you, it cuts out a border and uh, the inside. You will see when I will assemble everything what I mean. I have also cut out a strip of paper from another pattern paper and uh, put it at uh, the bottom of my tag. And now I am going to assemble everything. So first I am uh, going to stick down the tree trunk. I'm using a glue pen for that. I, I find it really, really easy to apply. This uh, the fine tip uh, makes the job easy. I'm going to stick it at the bottom. And now I'm going to stick down the leaves. Now for the leaves I want to have uh, enough dimension so that it pops out of the tag and uh, you will see how I'm going to achieve that. So first I am applying a little bit of glue only at the center of the um, leaves. You see that I don't go towards the edges of the leaves at all. So this is going to give me the ability to pop up a little bit the leaves on the edges. I am going to find out all the inside leaves and stick them down and uh, for those leaves I am going to stick them directly on the tag. No pop-up there. And then I am going to stick on top another layer of leaves. But on the second layer I am only going to add uh, glue at the center of the leaves. So I will end up with three different layers on my tree that is uh, really easy to create, but at the same time they will give a great dimensional impact.
So here is how my finished tree looks like. You see I have three different layers, one on top of the other, adding lots of dimension. Now for the tree trunk I am going to stick down all the inside pieces directly on my tag. And then I have another set of all those inside pieces that I am going to stick on top of them by using some foam squares. So just because I have all that dimension on the top of my tree, I need to have that on my tree trunk. Another idea that you can do that will help your tree look even fuller is to stick uh, the different layers of uh, the leaves slightly off. So this way you will be able to see all the different layers even more. For my sentiment, I am just going to cut out one of those banners from uh, the, this pattern paper that says Sunshine. And uh, what I really loved about this banner is that it has a fish tail on one side, which I am going to keep, so I'm using my scissors. And also it's exactly the same color as my tree. I am going to stick this banner coming from the tree trunk. And to finish off my tag, I am going to use my crop dial to make a hole at the top of my tag. And I'm also going to set an eyelet. The eyelet that I'm using is gold. I think I, that it uh, matches uh, nicely the rest of the colors. I'm going to cut out a piece of uh, my string there and just thread it through the tag. And my tag is pretty much finished. Now I need to assemble the card. For my card today, I'm going to create a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And uh, for my base uh, pattern paper, I'm going to cut out a rectangle piece out of this pattern paper. So this is slightly smaller than a standard card. To stick my tag down, I am using some foam squares at the back of the tag. I'm going to peel them off and stick the tag directly on top of this pattern paper. And I am going to use my tape runner at the back and stick the whole thing on top of a top folding card. To finish off my card, I uh, picked some of uh, the glass beads that were included in this uh, pack of sequins. They are round on one side and flat bottom on the other and they are also crystal clear. So this is the finished card. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card today. Click on your screen right now so you can hop to the next stop on the video hop. If you are on a mobile device and this doesn't work for you, you can find links to the next stop just down below the video in the description area. Thank you all for watching!